Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to find cheap flights in 2021. I'm using only one website to choose the direction of my possible flight and this is the skyscanner.net and we have it open on the screen already. Uh, first of all, I need to choose the uh, airport that is closest to you and in my case this is Vienna airport. I'm also ticking the box to add the nearby airports, which is in my case Bratislava. We also have Budapest airport nearby, however, due to COVID restrictions uh, in 2021, it's not an option. Still, I'm adding this to see uh, the possible flights from other than Vienna airport. Uh, then uh, I don't know where to, I want to fly, the only uh, decision for now is that I want to go somewhere to the sea and I have the more or less uh, strict dates which is July 2nd till 5th when we have in Slovakia state holiday. Still, I have already checked before this video that the flights for this particular dates are quite expensive, that's why I'm flexible and now I want to uh, choose and check which flights can be a uh, better fit for my dates so I can fly somewhere around the time that I initially planned to. In this case I'm adding to the uh, I'm adding to the uh, destination place the word everywhere so that the website decides for myself and shows me all the possible directions uh, in my chosen time. Uh, then I have chosen the uh, cheapest months and return for the cheapest months as well. I'm always choosing the uh, prices for one adult only and economy. When I will be booking, I will be booking on the website directly. So for example, if the uh, Skyscanner shows me that uh, the cheapest flight is with Wizzair or Ryanair low coaster, I will anyway go to the website directly and order the tickets there. So it's easier for me to check the price for one adult and then I will be adding the number of adults uh, or also kids if you are flying with kids. The price doesn't depend uh, if you choose straight away here, for example, to add it plus two kids or one adult only, the price will still stay the same, so there is no need to uh, choose the whole family, um, only if uh, you want to see the total uh, price. Um, I'm also choosing the direct flights only because I have only 2-3 days uh, for this travel and I don't want to spend one of these days in the airport. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm ready to click search flights. In the next screen, you will see that the website has shown me all the possible directions from Vienna to everywhere for one adult. And uh, let's scroll down to the country that I want to see. As I said, I want to uh, go somewhere closer to the sea and uh, let it be Italy, for example. I unclick the drop down menu and I see all the possible directions from Vienna to Italy for uh, not sure which months yet, so I will need to check the further information starting from here. Uh, Skyscanner allows us to see it straight away, so you will see the price uh, and also the guide for the place, if you don't know which place it is. For example, let's start with Bologna and let's see uh, I'm just opening it in the new link, the link in the new tab to see what Bologna can offer me. Scroll down to the pictures and photos from other travelers and you will see that this is not the place at the sea, it's most probably the city tour. Uh, but to be 100% sure, I also go to Google Maps. And enter here Bologna as well. Right, it's directly in the middle of Italy and it will be quite uh, difficult to get to the sea from one place or another. Don't forget that we are going to travel for 2-3 days only and we don't want to spend a lot of time moving from one place to another. In this case, Bologna is not a fit for us. We are returning to the list of the places where uh, 
Skyscanner has offered us and we scroll down further. I have already done the initial check and I have seen that Naples looks fine for my choice. Let's close this and let's check Naples once again. Again we have clicked uh, the Naples guide, opened it in the nearest window and we scroll down to the photos from other travelers. Here you can see that Naples offers us the combination of sea rest plus the city rest. This is exactly what I would like to see within the two three days of the holidays in July. Scroll down and you will see that uh, the nearest months uh, and the cheapest price will be July 25th. We, this is exactly what we need and the price one direction starts from 33 euros per one person. The cheapest month in this case is also July 2021 and the price is the same, which fits. I decide to explore more dates. I click here. Or you can do exactly the same from this link uh, on the main Skyscanner page. On the new page you will see the uh, dates when the flights are possible and also the color mark will show you whether it is a cheap flight, moderate, expensive or expensive. As I told you I want to fly on the uh, Friday July second and return somewhere around Friday, uh, Monday, uh, July 5th. This is not the case for Naples, but I can fly also on Saturday 3rd for 25 euros one direction and return on 6th. And this is a small trick that I want to show you. If you go directly to the Ryanair website, because I have already checked that this is the flight that is uh, made by Ryanair uh, website, not the website, but the company Ryanair, and uh, I am already clicking the Naples on Skyscanner for the third time. This is why the price is so high for the six. But if we go directly to Ryanair, and check exactly the same destination, which is Vienna, Naples and we need July 3rd and return July 6th for one adult as well and we click search you will see that 6th July offers us the flight for 33 euros one person one direction once again returning to Skyscanner this is my third search already which remembers the history and increases the pricing. That's why I'm also proposing you to use the uh, screen, uh, the window in the um, hidden mode, in the incognito mode, so that it doesn't remember your cookies and your searches and it doesn't increase the price of the flight for you. So once again, if I choose to fly from third to six and also you can see the difference, right? I have clicked on the third and I have chosen this date. So it shows me exactly the same price, even the cheaper one, frankly speaking, than the Ryanair website. So if I chose this tool and I go to find flights, and I wait for some time, we can see straight away that the Ryanair offer will be 53 euros for one person, two directions, both ways. And if we go to Ryanair and choose uh, this one, and also choose this one, and we choose just the small value, nothing extraordinary. The price here is even higher, 61 euro, 62 actually, right? So you will need to also check the time of the flight, compare it on both websites. For example, here we can see that we are flying there on 6 p.m. Uh, flight is 1 hour 35 minutes and here it is pretty much the same. And we are returning on uh, half past 1, which is exactly the same. 
still the price is different right if you click for the um, check the flight you will see the information that is very important in 2021 and this is the COVID-19 restriction and information both Skyscanner website and also Ryanair website are sending you the full information what is required in the destination place of your choice at the particular time when you are making your reservation. For example, here Skyscanner shows you that the face mask is mandatory uh, in Italy everywhere, including the uh, beaches and also outdoors. Uh, the plane deep cleaned daily, so there are extra measurements that the plane you will be flying with is cleaned extra other than it was before Corona. Flight crew wearing the masks, which is okay. Cleaning wipes provided, so you can see that the cleaning wipes are not provided and if it is important for you, you can take some extra ones for you on board. And there are also some changes to food service, uh, so most probably you will not receive any food, which is basically typical for Ryanair, even for uh, non-corona times, but something else was implemented to prevent from corona. If you want to know something more about the restrictions and also the place where to go, uh, if you go back here, so once again we are returning to the main page where Skyscanner has shown us all the possible directions. We have chosen Naples and we go to Naples Guide. Here at the very top of the screen you can see the new part of the Skyscanner website which says COVID-19 Travel Info. You can click directly to the View Live Map. And here the site will show you the uh, travel info for the uh, countries pretty much all over the world, uh, starting from your country. I will be starting from Slovakia and you can see that for Slovakia uh, almost all the world is either red. And if you scroll down you will see that red means uh, the country which requires major restrictions after return. Uh, or moderate restrictions. Only two countries have low restrictions for now and this is somewhere in Africa. If we scroll down we will see that this is what? Mozambique, not the place where we are going to go and also surprisingly Bulgaria. No, this is Kosovo. Also not the place where we are going to go. But as I will be flying from the nearest Austria, Vienna, so I will be choosing the place for Austria. And here the situation is more or less better. For example, Italy is already in the green zone with low restrictions. If you want to know what this means, what the low restrictions are, you need to scroll down on the same page and you will see here the countries and the better information of uh, restriction, right? So if we uh, type here Italy, uh, you will see that on arrival in Italy, the quarantine is not required. Uh, I want to stress that this is for today. Today we have 19th of June, so the information can be changed uh, by the time of flying and the flight is planned for two weeks from today. So. Hopefully nothing changes and Italy stays in green zone for Austria. So once again, on arrival in Italy, when you will not need to stay in quarantine. Neither you will require to stay in quarantine on return to Austria. However, as I said, as I will be flying from, uh, not will be flying, but living in Slovakia, flying from Austria, I will need to check separately what are the restrictions and requirements for people returning from Austria to Slovakia, but it doesn't apply to this video. This is the local restrictions, right? Also, you will see the number of cases for COVID this week, which is 105 out of 100,000 people. And you can see that the number was down 19% compared with the last week. International travel to Italy is permitted. This is also very important for those who are traveling uh, like non-EU citizens and having the uh, non-EU passports. It can be also checked in this corona time, so please check these restrictions as well. 
So if you scroll down, you will see all the information related to COVID on the one page, which is very useful and handy. You can click the extra links to see what is required more, etc., etc. So let's pretend that we decided to go to Naples on the chosen dates uh, and we have chosen to fly 6 p.m. there and uh, half past one back. All these restrictions are okay for us and we are ready to make the reservation. So there are two possible options. One is to order straight away on the Skyscanner and the second one is I said to go to Ryanair website and order it directly here. But as I said before, the price can be different so you will need to check uh, what uh, Skyscanner offers for you why the, the price is different. This will be already the information on the next video and this is pretty much it what I wanted to show you today how to check and choose where you can fly for the best price in the more or less strict time in the nearest future. I hope this video was useful for you, I hope you will be able to travel this year and I hope that you will enjoy any direction that you choose, would it be Naples, would it be sea or would it be some uh, city holiday. I also want to invite you to Slovakia which is more or less green these days and it is very interesting to visit and it has a lot of places to offer the tourists. Have a nice day and week ahead, have a best summer this year and see you later. Bye bye!